Companies of all kinds are interested in their best salespeople, their best customers, and their best selling products. Excel enables you to create what are called top 10 conditional formats to identify the top or bottom values in a pivot table. I'll demonstrate how to create these rules. My sample file is top rules 0502, and you can find it in the chapter five folder of the exercise files collection. In this pivot table, I display the solar panels that are available for sale from our sample company and also the sum of total price, which is revenue. What I'd like to do is to identify the top sellers in terms of total price. To do that, I can click any cell in the sum of total price column, any cell that contains a value that is, that's not a subtotal or grand total. Then go to the Home tab, click the Conditional Formatting button, point to Top or Bottom Rules, and then I can click the type of conditional format I want to create, and I am able to change my mind later. But in this case, let's say that I want to create a Top 10 rule, so I'll click Top 10 Items, and now I can select the number of items. Let's say that I want to go with the Top 5, and I can also change the format, so I'll click the Format controls list arrow, and I don't want to select any of the existing formats, so I'll click custom format. My format cells dialog box open to the font tab. If you don't see that, click font. I will make the font bold, and I'll change the color to automatic or black. I'll also change the fill color, and I will change that to a light blue. I'll click OK to end creating the format, and click OK. Now you see that I have one cell selected, and if I scroll down, you see it's the only one. But in fact, I created a top five rule. To apply this particular format to the other cells that are visible in the pivot table, I can click the Format Options button, which appears next to the cell where I created the conditional format. And the bottom item is all cells showing sum of total price values for product name. This item excludes subtotals and grand totals. So I'll click that, and I have 28,000, and then all those other items that you see highlighted. I'll scroll down a bit to show four of those. You can also create a format that finds the top percentage of a particular data range. So I'll press Control-Z to undo the conditional format and go once again to the conditional formatting button, and I still have cell B5 selected. So I'll click Conditional Formatting, Top Bottom Rules, and I'll click Top 10%. So there I have the Top 10%. In this case, let's say that I want to go with the Top 33%. And I will click Custom Format, and I open to the Fill page. So I'll click Primary Green, and go to Font, make the color automatic or black, and click Bold, and click OK. So I see the same effect as before. I have the top 33% and only the selected cell. Click OK, click the Format Options button, click All Cells showing sum of total price values for product name, and we get the top 33%. And if I scroll down, you'll see that it's all the same values except for one, and those are displayed here. You can also identify the bottom 33%. So I'll press Control-Z again to undo the format. And then with cell B5 still selected, conditional formatting, top bottom rules, and I'll do bottom 10 items. In this case, I will go for the bottom three. I won't change the format because you've seen how to do it twice. Click OK. I need to reapply the conditional format to the entire group of cells showing sum of total price values for product name. So I've clicked the Format Options button, click the bottom option, and I see 57, 67, 50, and values of about 3,000 and 1,500. So as you can see, conditional formats that identify the top or bottom values in a pivot table field make it easier for you to visualize the most and least effective performers within your organization.